Hello my friends, welcome to the channel or welcome back if you visited me before. Um, so today I just, I thought I would do like a little paint with me, um, just for fun. So I decided I wanted to try to make a dashboard for my personal ring planner. So I'm gonna like, this is not a tutorial. Like I feel like I need to <laughs> say that cause I just, I paint for fun, like, um, but I share a lot of my watercoloring on Instagram. So I thought I would just show you guys, like, I am not an expert in this, but how much fun it is to watercolor. Um, and I'm going to try to try, uh, to kind of recreate something similar to this. I like the colors that I made and all of that. So I'm going to try to recreate a dashboard similar to this, but for my personal ring planner. So I just have like this cheap watercolor paper. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby because it was like half off or whatever. Um, and uh, I just cut it down to 3.75 by 6.75. And I went ahead and cut punched the holes in too. That way I would know like where I should and shouldn't paint. Um, so I have a old pickle jar that I use for my water. I have some paper towels and I have this Mungyo watercolor set. Um, I had a lot of people who watercolor like recommend this kit to me. I think, uh, Shada Campbell uses it. Um, I'm a messy painter as you can see, but I still have a lot of the same colors that I've used in the past. Um, but it's a 48 pound, um, 48 pan um, watercolor set with lots of pretty colors. So I like to go ahead and mix my water, my colors up first. Like that's just kind of what I do. And while I'm mixing up colors, I'll kind of talk to you guys about, um, about watercoloring and why I got into it. So when I mix watercolors, I use kind of like brushes I don't really use. Um, there's like people that spray them and all that stuff. I'm not... <laughs> Again, I'm not a professional at this. Um, I just do it for fun. So I was a person who many years ago thought I could not do art, that art was not for me. And what I have learned is art is for everyone. Um, and it's for you. It's not necessarily something you even have to share on the internet or anything like that. It is a process. I don't think most people are not born um, natural artists. So I didn't realize that and I really didn't even get into like sketching, doodling, anything like that until I was like in my mid thirties. I learned how to draw by watching like YouTube channels. Um, I learned how to paint um, with the help of <clears throat> YouTube. So I'm just mixing up some gray and lots of water here to make those petals. And then I put a little bit of this brown. I just reuse my paints a lot to make this like grayish color. And then I just add a ton of water. So anyway, so um, I started learning how to draw florals because I always wanted to learn how, how to do that. Um, and so I started watching <clears throat> Shady Campbell on YouTube. Um, she makes art just fun. Um, it's not necessarily a stressful process where it has to be perfect. You just have fun with it. And, um, I enjoyed her messaging that art is for everyone, that art is supposed to be fun, all of that good stuff. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, for me, it was like, okay, I'm down. Let's do it. So I'm mixing up some oranges here too. So I like to mix my color palette ahead of time just for, you know, for fun. Um, but so I started watching that and learning how to draw. Well, then last summer or a few months ago, I guess this year, I had surgery and was kind of like out of commission for about six weeks. And um, it was really hard for, <laughs> for me, to be honest with you, to like sit at the house and not do anything. And so I was like, this is the perfect time to learn to watercolor. Um, I'm gonna take a wet, I'm just ripping some of this paper towel. I'm gonna take a wet paper towel and just kind of wipe up this pink color so I can free up some space on my palette. But anyway, um, so I decided, <laughs> cause I do that a lot. I just decided that I wanted to learn how to watercolor 
which is what I did. I, um, went to Hobby Lobby and picked up watercolors that were on sale. I think someone had given me when I graduated with my master's, like somebody had given me like a Hobby Lobby gift card and I was like, okay, I'm down. So I picked up some watercolors just to kind of see if I would like it and use that gift card so I wouldn't use my own money. Um, and enjoyed the process. I watched, um, I'll link the YouTube channels that I liked down below. And I just started practicing and playing. And what I learned was <laughs> anybody can do art. Art is for everyone. So <clears throat> yeah, did that and I'm moving my palette to the side here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's fine. Um, but anyway, so I just started learning that like with art, like it's really like basic shapes and stuff, right? Um, I'm trying to get myself situated. It's a dreary day here where I live. And so this may not be the prettiest thing. I haven't watercolored in quite a few days. Um, it's just been busy. So we'll see how this goes. But again, I'm using this for reference because I really liked how this turned out. Um, so I'm dipping into, I'll go with my gray. And I just pick up my paint and then I dab it on my paper towel. But anyway, so um, with that being said, I just started like playing with watercolors, watching tutorials, learning <clears throat> how to paint basic shapes for flowers. Um, and that's, that's it. Um, are my watercolor flowers perfect? Absolutely not. Do I find this process to be therapeutic and enjoyable to me? For sure. I love it. Um, I find it to be very relaxing and very therapeutic. Like that pedal's kind of, kind of wonky. That's okay. Um, so yeah, I find it to be enjoyable to me. Um, and even like, this is for me, right? Like that's, that's like the whole like premise is I, there's always been like a lot of stuff in my life that I've wanted to learn how to do, wanted to work on, and I just never did it. And I didn't understand, like, I don't know. So anyway, so I just started doing it and really enjoyed it. So I'm doing a different perspective here, which is why these little shapes are different. And the thing about watercoloring, in my opinion, is watercolors are very very forgiving. Um, they really are. They are so forgiving. You can always like, if, if something looks weird, you let it dry and you can, um, kind of do what you want to with it. So I'm going to use this little orangey color that I mixed up and start just drawing like in the botanicals here. So I'm just, like I said, I just have fun with it. There's no, no pressure to like do things perfectly. That's the thing about like art is just have fun, man. Like it's really not that serious, I promise you. Um, and the more paint you use, like the more concentrated it is, the more water you use, um, you know, the more, I guess, transparent the medium is, is what I've learned. Um, and so, yeah, anyway. I don't even know if you guys are interested in something like this. This is a lot brighter orange than I anticipated it to be. Um, let's mop some of this up. I don't like how bright that is. We're going to go back in and fix that. I think it's too bright of an orange. So I'm going to add some brown in it to dull it down. That may be too much brown. <clears throat> totally is way too much brown. So then I'm just going to go in with some orange here. And I'm just going to, I mix colors until I kind of like it. Um, but anyway, so I have been watercoloring. Let's see. I started probably in June, I think. I just went on over to Hobby Lobby and I started watching tutorials on YouTube, um, and learned <laughs> that like anyone can do this. And it's your art, which is really cool because you can make it however you want it to be. Um, so, 
I personally like to paint like flowers and botanicals and that type of stuff. But like there's tutorials for everything. I would like to learn how to paint like a polar bear, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for Christmas. So one of the YouTube channels I watch has has um, a tutorial for a polar bear. So I think I'm gonna try my hand at that, but I just go in and have fun, you guys. Like that's like the whole point. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what makes it so unique. Now, if this doesn't turn out the way I want it to turn out, then it's fine. All right, so we got lots of pretty browns. Let's go in with a darker brown and make some little, some little wheatgrass here. Um, I'm gonna make some right here, this like gray. And I don't think I'm doing most of this right, but it's just an enjoyable experience for me. So that's why I do it. It's relaxing. So I am off work today. Um, it's Veterans Day, so that's a very thick line, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with my thinner brush, my skintier brush. This is not my skinnier brush, maybe. I don't, I didn't grab it, so we're making do. Um, but anyway, um, so I am off work today and my kids actually spent the night with one of their grandparents. So I'm just like chilling at the house. It's quite lovely. So I'm just drawing these little short lines here to symbolize me. And then I'll go back in in a bit and add some like darker color to it. But anyway, I just do this for fun because I don't do it for anyone but myself. Um, I do make some gifts for people. I have like a whole wall <clears throat> in my room um, by my desk that I can look at and see like how I've progressed. Um, but other than that, like <clears throat> this is for me and for my enjoyment. I'm gonna pick up some of this like dark indigo color and we're gonna add some like little pops of color in here. I'm gonna dab that because I feel like there's a lot of paint on there. I don't even know if you guys enjoy this, but again, it this is art is for everyone, friends. All my leaf shapes are always the same. Um, and the thing about leaves, even like in nature, is uh let's see, I think I could do one here. Is there like every leaf is different, right? And like, I can cross stuff over. We can do like a little bleed here. Like it's just, so this is just so relaxing. And I'm sorry if you guys hear my dishwasher running in the background. Like I'll let this leaf like overlap this one. If the colors bleed, beautiful. Um, look at that. We got some color bleed happening. It's just lovely. All right, I think that's dry. So next thing I'm gonna do is I kind of want to go into these flowers here. That's the only one that's kind of wet. And I'm gonna make like a darker gray just to add some lot, some like shading. So that's all I'm gonna do. Let's see how it turns out. And that just gives this more definition for me. Not too much. I just kind of like outline the, the flower and just maybe add a few lines here and there. <clears throat> Did you guys hear my dishwasher? But anyway, um, so that's kind of like my story with art. Please know that I was that person even like four years ago that was like, I can't even draw a stick figure. And I just like, <clears throat> I always joke and tell people like, I don't know, have I read Kobe Bryant's um, Mamba Mentality book a couple of years ago. 
And even though it was like a basketball book, like I felt like it was like so applicable to <clears throat> just everyday life because he does like talk about like, you know, it's not like most, like if you read his story, like he wasn't the best basketball player when he was younger, right? Like he got good because he put in reps, he put in work and all of that stuff. And I just think that, excuse me, that is applicable to anyone is if you want to get good at something, because I'm not the greatest, right? I'm not a natural, just so y'all know, I'm not a natural born artist. Um, but if you want to get good at something, <clears throat> it takes practice and it takes putting in reps and it takes messing up and making ugly things and <laughs> all of that. It does. It takes all of that. And so for me, that's what I learned is like, I'm not a good artist, but the things that I practice on a, that is a weird pedal right there, but that's okay. But the things that I practice on a regular, regular basis, I've noticed improvement. Um, it's the same with like drawing like flowers, botanicals, all of that. Um, I've just gotten better. <clears throat> uh, understanding like shapes. I'm going to turn this upside down. And you can turn your paper. <laughs> I don't see a lot of people do that, but I do because it just works better for me. And then I hold my brush like a pen or a pencil. Um, <clears throat> but I'm also like trying to learn how to like paint perspectives, different perspectives of things and all of that. So <clears throat> yeah, it's just for fun. Okay. So we're going to let, I'm going to let that dry. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to go in with a darker brown and draw in some lines for my leaves here just to kind of make it look better. But also while I'm in here, I need to dab some of this water off because that's a lot of water. So if you guys can see like my paint here is more concentrated because I didn't use as much water is I'm going to go in. This is still kind of wet. So I'll have like a really cool like blending effect. Hopefully is I just go in with the darker paint. Oh, it's too wet. Hold on. That may not work as I'm like telling y'all. See, that's why I said this is definitely not a tutorial, friends, because I don't know what I'm doing, is you can definitely like go in with your darker paint here and make, just add like some darker lines and whatnot. But it may be too wet for that, but we're gonna try it. Because it's gonna bleed in, but that's okay. And it's just like a layering. That's the, the fun thing about, like, that's what I was saying. Like, water, in my opinion, like, watercolor is very, very forgiving. <clears throat> if you mess up, it's easy to fix. All of that good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take this again, this little orangey brown. And I'm going to take some of this water off. And I'm just drawing some lines in the middle. I may darken some of these lines just for funsies. Do y'all see where I said I'm not like a real artist? Like I'm just, I, I guess I am a real artist cause I make art, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm just drawing my lines here. But I find this, um, I especially like to do this like on weekend mornings. There's too much water on there, okay. Um, and I find it to be really relaxing to me. So I'm just drawing some lines in. Okay. There's something missing there, so I'm gonna go in in a minute and maybe add something else, or I may add some more of these. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, <clears throat> now that my flowers are dry, is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put the stamen in. So I just kind of mix this little like mustardy color, and I'm doing a circle. Um, and I'm gonna leave like a little white space. So drawing a circle, putting a circle in, and then I'm gonna use some other colors just to kind of add like a different effect. Okay, 
And then on this one, And then if you have, like, what I've learned, I can move this down because I need more paper towel, is if you have, like, some pooling water, is you can dry your brush off and then just kind of sop it up. And it's the same on this one, just kind of sop it up. <laughs> All right. And then I'm gonna take some of this like darker brown and I'm gonna try to <clears throat> blend a little around the outside just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Hopefully it's not too wet that's gonna bleed everywhere, but just to add a little bit of dimension. This is what they call wet on wet technique is what I've learned. Just to kind of add, yeah. Oh, I just stuck my whole arm in the paint. This is not easy to do friends. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same here. Uh, yeah. I think I asked a while ago if anyone would be interested in watching me paint, and this is it. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But yeah, I just kind of work it in here. If it's starting to dry, you can kind of move it around. And then it just kind of gives the flower a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, more dimension. All right, so another thing I want to do is I kind of want to add, I'm going to add some stems for my flowers, and I'm going to go in with like this blue-gray color. So I'm mixing this gray here and a little bit of indigo, just a little bit. To give it like this cool blue gray color I just think this looks like so fall you know what i mean and i'm gonna always dab my brush i learned that from ellen crummy trent i think is her name she is like an amazing artist um but i love how like she when she this is my dog snoring when she uh paints like her tutorials like it's just like do you hear her oh my god Maggie, wake up, baby. When you do her tutorials, um, she's just like, have fun. Like, mess it up. Muck it up, friends. I like that. So, because again, you want this, like, attitude of art is for everyone. Because <clears throat> it is. All right. So, I made my little stemmy stems. And then I'm going to go in and just do a few little leaves here and there. And another person I like um when I fall like whose channel I watch for watercoloring and really like just doodle um inspo is uh Shada Campbell because she's like it's a leaf if you say it's a leaf because if you guys look at leaves look at flower petals look at all of that stuff in nature they're not perfect they are weird and wonky and all that fun stuff. So I just made some weird, weird little leaves. I feel like something needs to go here. <clears throat> and I don't know what. I'm undecided. I feel like there's some off balance here because of the two leaf lines. So here's what we're going to do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to do these little, little flowers that I need. Okay, add a little bit of indigo. So we're going to do some more like, maybe, hold on, I'm trying to get. Another thing that I've learned is <clears throat> with art, and I don't know why, but I agree with this, is like if you have things in even numbers, for the most part, it's not the most like visually appealing which I find to be interesting. My paint is wet. Um, so I do 
like some evenness. There's way too much water on that brush. And for me, it's also like, I'm trying to find this balance of like, do I know how much paint I should be putting on my brush? Clearly I do not, and that's fine. Um, but it's still fun, y'all. And you can go in and make things a little bit darker. And if you don't like the way it's looking, you can just blend it. Looks good to me. like it. Okay, so I'm also going to go in with this darker brown again, and <clears throat> I'm going to play up, I may add, I think I'm going to add a little bit of black to this brown, just to kind of darken it up a little bit. And I'm going to just darken the wheat on here, just add some darker wheat lines. And when that dries, it's going to be pretty. Okay. I think one more thing that needs to happen is I think I'm going to do like one more little leaf. One of these like orange leaf stems through here. Just to kind of balance painting out and add some more of this and draw some really or paint not draw paint some really pretty like the eaves I'm just gonna put like an illusion there <laughs> so it looks like there's a leaf like tucked underneath And then I feel like here, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put a little bit of another like little wheat grass. I like to fill my whole page. Um, that may be overkill for some, but I kind of, I kind of like it. So I'm just going to do like a little wheat stock right here. That's really dark. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a, a, what they call a light wash and that's where it's like you don't have as much paint as you do um, water do I know what I'm doing most of the time absolutely not um, but again I'm just kind of making an illusion here of what I want it to be and then I can always go back in and add some detail I'm liking it. I think it looks great. I'm going to go in with this dark gray again and just kind of add um, some shadow and whatnot to my leaves, darken them in some areas, and we'll, yeah, we're going to have a party.
<clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and then I'm gonna go in. Just draw some little lines here. And see, sometimes I pick up too much water, to be honest with you guys, um, and things look weird, but that's fine. I'm not, again, this is mine. Like, this is my art. And so you can make it look however you want it to as the artist. That's another thing I love about art. So I'm just gonna darken some of these lines here. I'm just having fun. All right, and then I think my flower looks good. It's on that little wonky um, thing there. I'm liking the way it looks. I think my indigo leaves look really nice. Um, let's see, it probably wouldn't hurt to darken this up a little bit. Went too fat with the line, but that's okay. <clears throat> I'm just waiting on the wheat to dry, and then I will, um, darken in the wheat stalks and I think that'll do. I think it looks, I like it. I think it looks nice. Now I can also go in with this blue gray if I wanted to add more shading to my daisies and give it a, another like more shading, but I think it looks okay like the way it is. I kind of like the warmer the warmer tones on it if I wanted to like add ooh, some more here some more here I think my stamens look good just kind of blend it a little bit more maybe uh oh there's some bleeding y'all see how I bled that because that was still wet and y'all this brush <laughs> I got it at Hobby Lobby um, that's the closest store I have to me where I can buy like stuff, art supplies and whatnot because I kind of live out in the country. Sometimes I go to Michael's, but it's a good little drive from my house to Michael's. So I don't do that a good bit. Um, but uh, I do, I want some like good like quality brushes for Christmas. That's what I'm, if anybody asks me, <laughs> that's what I want for Christmas. But yeah. I'm still waiting on that to dry. So I'll click back when it's dry and then I'll show you guys finished product. Well, I think while that's drying, I may go in and just add a few more like darker sprigs here to give this wheat a little bit more dimension. I'm not going in like super heavy with it, but just, yeah, just adding a little bit more. That's the, again, that's the fun thing about watercoloring is you can layer you can start with a very like transparent shade and then event and then go in darker um and then add layers to give it to give the painting or the whatever it is that you're painting a different effect but i also think it's possible and i've done it multiple times and it's possible i'm doing it right now is you can overwork your stuff too and I try to avoid doing that but sometimes I just can't help myself because it's not having the effect I want it to have like I just overworked that leaf a bit too much but that's okay again this is my art right so I'm just waiting for stuff to dry this leaf looks weird because of the, I'm like flinging water everywhere so let's go in here and just kind of fix that. Boom. And I'm gonna pick up 
pick up some of this brown and hopefully just add some dimension to my wheat stalk. It's still wet. You see how it's bleeding? Like so. And then in a minute, <clears throat> I'll go back in one more time. This leaf looks weird. I think I smudged it. So I'm going to fix that. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit of this darker paint for the last little bit here. Um, and I may add more color to this once I cut the camera off, but just to kind of give you guys like general idea here. Um, and I don't use like high quality watercolor paper. So some water papers like soak it up and others do not. So I'm just adding these little wispies to give it a more wheat look. And then that's it, that's my painting. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll probably pop it in my planner. Um, <clears throat> here, I'll bring it up, let me zoom in. Oh, too much. So anyway, that is the finished product. What do you guys think? Um, please let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video and this little chat. Um, Oh, and hold on. I will show you guys my watercolor wall. Okay, so excuse the lighting, but I guess we can start down here. It's a rainy day. So I started, I had been painting for probably about three weeks. And so I started adding these. And then my Sophie writes me notes. Um, the coffee is new. I just painted that one. But these are not all of the things that I've painted, but some of the things I've painted that I like to hang up on my wall just so you guys can see, or I can see my progress and how far I've come. Okay, so anyway, this is my finished product. I really like the way it turned out. I can't wait to put it in my planner and have my own personalized dashboard that is made just for me. Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye!